let's get in and get this party started. Yes, hello and welcome. Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben R. Ryder. Today I want to complete my review of the Opel Adam, or maybe we can also do an ongoing uh, review because I have the car here and I own the car so I can, you know, if you have any questions about it, I can check it out and let you know. Anyways, uh, today we want to do the uh, drive, the, the, the test drive and I want to tell you a little bit about how it handles and how everything works. Yeah, this is a nice road for motorbikes. Okay, so let's get ready to rumble. I hope this camera won't fall off there. And uh, we will go back down uh, here from behind Michas down to uh, what is it? Ben Almadena, basically. Okay, we'll take a little test drive and uh, I hope you can see everything. So we will have no music because of YouTube. Now let's go. I don't know if I can take a turn here already, so we'll back it up a little bit and go. So down to the right hand side, you probably can see it very well, there's Fuenciola and this is a little mountain, mountainous road up here above Mijas where I'm going, where I'm driving at the moment. As I said so in my other videos, they, they redid this road here a couple of months ago. And it was quite terrible, but now it's much, much better to drive. Yes, um, I want to tell you a little bit about the Opel Atom, which maybe I have done or I, which I have forgotten in the previous uh, talk I did. Uh, it's uh, the Glam model and it has a 1.4 liter 87 horsepower engine. And uh, the engine isn't too big, I mean. Uh, as you can see, but uh, I mean it's not too powerful for this little car So it's it's an, it's enough for the city and everything But uh, you know if you want to do like rally racing, of course, this is not good You know you would have to get the S version maybe with 150 horsepower but You know this was on sale and it was a good deal. I think so. That's why I got it uh, it, it was not new, it was like a zero kilometer car. Uh, basically it had four kilometers on the odometer. And what else can I say? The handling here in this, uh, when you don't go very fast, as I said before, when, the, uh, when you're not going on the uh, freeway, highway or so, the handling is very good. It's, uh, it really is a lot of fun to to take these uh, roads here, uh, to take these bends, 
and that's a lot of fun you know it can go quite it's it's quite agile and uh, I like that of course when you go faster and are on the highway also it gets a little bit shaky like this you know sometimes but I think you get used to it you know it's not too bad after all at, at first I thought it was not so good but uh, I think you get used to everything you know now we have a little car in front of us and he is not very fast so we have to take it one meter at a time I guess <laughs> Yes, don't laugh at my uh, haircut here because I've got this band through my hair and it looks kind of funny, I think. So, it's, uh, it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon here in Spain. The sun slowly, no, it's not setting, but no, it's coming to an end, you know, <laughs> and uh, the shadows are getting longer and actually quite nice uh, light for photography. Let's see down there is Fuentiola. Yes, also as I said before, this car only comes uh, with a 5-speed transmission or you can get an automatic, which I heard is not very good. So you should definitely get the manual transmission. I think only the 150 horsepower S version has the 6-speed uh, uh, manual transmission. So. Uh, Actually, I'm thinking of going the alternative route here down to Fuentirola, I'm not sure, but it might be very boring for you. So, maybe I won't. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. Actually, the summer sun is coming out now. It was kind of over, very overcast today, and I think tomorrow. And maybe we can park here quickly. Today and, no, tomorrow and... Uh, Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow it uh, is supposed to be raining a lot I guess now in in Spain here at least where I live you know either it's uh, sunny or you know it's raining uh, cats and dogs and you have to be careful of flooding and stuff like that I will quickly jump out here quick walk around so so you know where actually you're sitting in which car you know I'm doing the movie of okay that should be enough let's go so I have synchronized everything and let's go down well maybe we can go down to the beach if I find it, I don't know, actually I would have to set this here in the uh, navigation system or else I might not be able to find it. I will check this on maps because I thought I had saved it already. Let's see, how do we find these safe places? Recent places, traffic. I don't know. Maybe we can't. Yes, WhatsApp. Okay, I'm zooming out. 
zooming out and yes I will actually set this up here let's see if we can find this road Okay. Head east on Karatera Point, A387 toward Arabel Sector 57. Okay, let's try to find this road down to Fuentiola. In 400 meters, slight left onto Karatera Circumvalacion Mijas, A387. God, this voice is really annoying to me, I think. Oh, there's little horsies here. Continue for 800 meters. We're going down, 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 down. Yes, what else can I say about the Opal Adam? Um, I don't know. Let me think. Okay, well, um, I'd say it's a pretty nice car. All in all, it's a nice car. It has the the inside has a feeling of a actually of a higher level car, which I think is good. It doesn't look like a smart or something inside. Although you can make it look like a smart if you you know get this in red and stuff like that although I like this red you know but it you know kind of looks cheap I think but um, yeah it looks kind of nice and uh, the steering is nice and uh, so um, steering is nice and now uh, since I only have it for 500 kilometers now uh, of Turn course I have to check the you know how much it actually what the fuel consumption is it tells me something about 6.2 liters on the uh, internet you know where I can check it meters, on the on star services I can check and it says uh, 6.2 liters uh, but of course since uh, the, uh, the uh, onboard computer just doesn't have any data yet really I think it might actually still go down God she's talking too much for me I think Take the next right toward Alvanida Real, then slide left. I think we have the next one is the left. Take the next left toward Alvanida Real. Well, I think, you know, this time I think she's right. So let's take her left here. Continue for one kilometer. been on this with a scooter but of course it's different when you're in a car which is maybe two meters wider or almost so you have to be more careful on these little roads here the Sun is really not in the right position now I hate that to go against the Sun you don't see anything I don't really like this but before that I had to work so pleasure comes uh, after work I guess so we have to take what we what we have here now and that sun which is not so nice in my eyes okay I can't really see anything let's go yeah maybe the uh, that brings us to point 
the the view you know I uh, before I had this scooter and the view although you think with the helmet is uh, limited but that's not true you see everything in the helmet with the helmet and uh, with a car I mean I know I know what a car is like because I've had a car before but uh, with any car I think you know you have reduced visibility like if you for in the back or stuff like that there's always some some what you might call it columns I think they're called columns right C column B columns which are in the way or which is blocking your view and so that's not very good and uh, in this one as you just said as you just uh, noticed uh, I wanted to go left I had to look right and uh, the view was blocked from the what is it C column there in the back and no that's kind of dangerous of course sometimes you know if you cannot see anything there's one thing I wanted to check with everybody who is actually watching the video and maybe also have Android Auto and use Google Maps Please let me know. I have downloaded, you can download maps on Google Maps, you know, so you can also have them offline available. But this doesn't work. I get so much traffic uh, f from my provider or what you call data traffic, you know, although I'm, I have downloaded everything. This cannot be all of this traffic info and stuff. I had, I drove for two hours maybe one and a half hours and I used up 500 megabytes of, tra of traffic this is not really good you know and I Flight left at Las yeah oh this is getting complicated you know now anyways please tell me uh, what you have to do that Google actually uses your offline maps for navigation I have a big fat map of you know Malaga and surrounding areas but I, I think it's not using it because you know also when I turn off the uh, internet connection or the data it will not reroute why it has everything there it has everything in the uh, in the maps that I downloaded it should not need the internet I don't understand this please somebody tell me enlighten me what I'm doing wrong do I have to when I once I have downloaded the maps? Do I have to uh, activate them or so in order for Google Maps to uh, to use them? I don't know. Please let me know. Oh, they introduced a bumper here. Well, that's a nice place to take pictures there. Oh, they have a Tesla here. They have a Tesla here for sale. Tesla S type. I bet it's a probably 150,000 <laughs> yeah I guess so I think we have to take a right here oh yeah nice in 100 meters merge onto a7 Merge onto A7, then take the exit toward Fu and Garala. Uh huh, I think I turned it off now. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe, no. Maybe I have turned it off. Yeah, this is kind of. Okay, that worked. Aha!
come on people the truck is going to ram me from behind let's see if we can do this come on baby Yes, I think that concludes our little test drive and uh, outside check walk around of the Opel Adam 1.4 liters 87 horsepower glam version. Um, and um, that's about it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And uh, there will be many more videos coming up uh, with uh, maybe the Opel and with different parts of uh, Spain that I'm going to show to you. Okay, so thank you very much. Thumbs up. Bye-bye. Take care. This is Ben Arrida out.